Hello everyone, I'm Cubastic and in this video I will teach you how to solve a Pyraminx puzzle. This is considered to be one of the simplest puzzles, but nevertheless, even the simplest puzzles have uh, their own solving scheme and technique. And today I will tell you about the simplest method, the simplest way you can learn how to solve a Pyraminx. And by this method you can solve it uh, literally in uh, 3, 4 or 5 seconds if uh, of course you practice. Well, first of all, let's see what the pyramid consists of. Like any puzzle, it has its own structure and elements. These elements, wait for it, are called corners. You need to memorize that uh, for not getting confused uh, throughout the learning process. We also have uh, edges, these ones, and centers. The most important uh, thing here is not to mix centers and edges. The corners clearly are at the corners of the pyramids, and logically that's why they are called like that. The centers form such a radiation mark here in the middle, and they do not go beyond the edge of uh, the pyramids, to the edge of the pyramids. And uh, the edges, these elements, yes, they are out with one side to the edge of the pyramids. So look, this corner that we have, two sides at the edge. An edge, one side here, and the center, no side at the edge. Got it? Now let's practice the simple moves with this puzzle, and that will help us to solve this thingy. Hold the pyramids uh, the way I did, for example, uh, with the yellow side towards you, and take it uh, so that it's comfortable for you by the lower right and lower left corners. Starting with the right hand, lower the entire right side. This is going to be the R prime. Next, we lower the left side. Then we raise the right one and raise the left one. And what's at the result? We make a movement with the right, movement with the left, right one back, left one back. If we do this algorithm again, the pyramids will return to its original position. Thus you can train by lowering the right, lowering the left, raising the right, raising the left and the most important and simplest algorithm that will help you build the pyramids. Gotcha? Let's proceed, now we can scramble it. While I'm scrambling, I can say that this puzzle, like any other here on my table, was purchased at the cubicle.com store, because this particular store is uh, the best online puzzle store in the universe, my friend. There is a huge selection of puzzles, quality service and fast shipping worldwide. If you have a desire to learn how to solve the pyramids or any other puzzle, or simply update the collection of your puzzles, then go follow the link in the description. Don't forget to get a discount for your order using a special promo code CUBASTIC for my subscribers. The link is in the description. Let's start solving the pyramids from the easiest, by putting the corners in place. There are four of them and it's very easy to do it. You just need to match the colors at the corners with the colors of the center. So, in this case, turn in this way. If we have the same color on one side, then it will be correct on all sides. And so we do with every, every corner of the, the spearmings. Basically, there is nothing complicated, it's a kid-level task to match the colors. Next one is a little more complicated. Our task is to make the cross. I will explain starting with the yellow color and uh, first of all we will make the yellow cross, but later when you already know what to do, you can make it from any color and uh, the process will uh, feel to be easy, believe me, because it will develop your logic and skill in solving this puzzle. In order to understand on which side we make this yellow cross, we need to find a corner that doesn't have the exact yellow color. And we have it here. There is no yellow in this corner, and it's the only one, because here, here and here yellow is present. If uh, there is no yellow here, then the yellow cross must be started to be solved on the opposite side from this corner, that is right here, below. Let's turn this side to ourselves. Our cross consists of central elements combined with the uh, corners. Meaning that it's easy to understand, because we have already combined them and uh, this will be a block of the same color. Here, blue, blue and yellow. By the way, this yellow part of the cross is already on its side and we will leave it alone. We take uh, the next side and rotate it 
until it turns out to be yellow. And it's uh, the same here. This is here. Here, too, everything is sold very simply. There are no algorithms here, and no matter how difficult it is for you to solve the pyramids, the maximum number of movements for solving the cross will be only three. Because the cross consists of three parts. Yellow is on this side, yellow is on this side, and here yellow is on this side, just like that. The cross is complete. Here it is, one, two, three. We are not paying attention to these edges yet, because in order to put them correctly, we need to come to the next stage. When the cross is complete, the next step is to solve the edges. Here we are, these are the elements. When we solve all the edges correctly, when we put the needed elements here, we'll have the same color on the yellow side, but also on the blue side. So we need a blue and yellow edge here, this is where we need a red and yellow edge. And here you need to put a green-yellow edge. Let's start with it. Carefully check your pyramids, the upper side uh, for finding yellow edges. Here we have it. Here it is. Place uh, this edge in such a way by rotating the upper side so that in yellow it looks at us. And to the side it is in the color that is in front of us, that is green. We will put uh, the green and yellow corner here, in the green and yellow slot. That's it. It should be right here for the colors to match. For that you need to take it so the yellow side is towards you. If the green is on the right, then we just do the algorithm uh, starting from the right side, the simple algorithm. We hold with the right hand here, with the left here, and lower the right, lower the left, Raise the right, raise the left. As you can see, the edge is in place. We are looking for further edges on the top layer. Here we have a red and yellow edge. We put it in such a way that it is yellow towards us and below is its next color, this one. Again, here you need to do an algorithm on the right side. We lower the right one, lower the left one, raise the right one, raise the left one. Further, on the upper side we have an edge of yellow-blue color. And notice that if we now set this yellow edge, yellow-blue, to blue, then it is already on the left side. And here we do exactly the same algorithm, just start moving it with the left hand. That is, we first lower the left, then lower the right, raise the left, and raise the right. In such cases, sometimes the pyramids can already be sold, but nevertheless, there is still one more stage ahead. And let's look at another not common case of solving edges. At this stage, it may happen that on the top layer we have absolutely no yellow color. This means that the edge we need is at the bottom, but it is simply standing incorrectly or in the wrong place. In order to place such an edge on top, you just need to make an algorithm over it. When it is at the bottom, we make an algorithm and uh, this yellow edge is automatically placed on top. Further, we already know what to do. On the right side, yellow goes here, so the algorithm should be done on the right side. What's next? Again, we do not have yellow edges. They are here. And in order to raise any edge, you just need to make an algorithm over it. And it turns out to be on top. This is our green-yellow edge. It should stand here, so we put it on this side. It is on the left, so we do it with the left hand. And notice, when we put the edge we need here, the other edge with the yellow color just came up naturally. And now there is nothing complicated, you just need to put it here. That's it, fellows. This stage has come to an end and the last, but unfortunately the most difficult stage remains. Because here we need to learn three wall algorithms. But don't worry, they will all be very, very simple. To make it easier for you to find out and identify these situations, put the top side the way all the colors of the centers match. Like this. Red matches here, green here, and blue here. The easiest situation that can rise is one of those three situations. 
Our upper side has one of the edges that is aligned with its color, and the other two, you just need to turn it over. So we need to turn this edge like this, and this edge needs to be turned over like this. The situation is super simple, I call the situation ice, because it looks like the ice of a pyramid. Here we have again everything is salt, and the ice here, they are looking at us. To solve the situation, take a pyramid with uh, these uh, two elements, and at first make one algorithm with your right hand, starting and then with your right hand, grab the top side and make an algorithm in the opposite direction. As of the result, the top side goes here, raise the left side, return the top side, and return the left side. Let's uh, check the situation one more time and carefully follow the guide that is on the screen here. It will help you get the algorithm right. First we do the right hand algorithm, then grab the upper corner with our right hand and do the reverse algorithm. One, two, three, four. Just memorize this movement and then at speed when you practice it will come out very quickly, in literally less than a second. The next situation that can happen is also very simple to see and solve, because it is so symmetrical and beautiful. It looks like a pattern. And it is notable for the fact that none of the edges match with any of its colors with the next side. Now red here doesn't match with the green, here green with blue and so on. To create an algorithm uh, that may solve this situation, there is no difference which side you hold the pyramids towards yourself. Blue, red or green, you can start with any, because as I said, we have a symmetrical situation, symmetrical case. To start, we will need to rotate the bottom and top edges, watch my movements carefully and remember. Lower the right one, rotate the upper one. Now raise the right one, rotate the top one again. Lower the right one again, rotate the upper one again, and we raise the right one. As you can see, an extremely simple algorithm. It looks like this. I show it again. We lower it, we twist it. We lift, twist. We lower it, we twist it. We lift, twist. At the moment, nothing seems to happen. Only here we raise and lower the right one constantly, and here we constantly twist the upper side. In this situation, it may happen that when you do this algorithm, the edges still don't fall into the right places. Don't worry, people, you need to do the same algorithm one more time. And then everything will be alright. One more possible situation looks like this. It is uh, the most unpleasant, probably because it is uh, the most difficult to figure out. As you can see, here none of the edges is in their place. But two of them coincide at least on one side. And this will be a hint for you. The edge that doesn't match the color at all should be behind. And those edges that match are in front. In this case, the algorithm should be started with the right hand, because the right eye is looking at us. So we do the right hand algorithm. Further, the right hand goes upwards, and we make the following movement. U in this direction raise L, U in the opposite direction, and lower L. This is also an algorithm, but a very unusual one. Let's analyze uh, the same situation again, it is pretty difficult, but I believe in you guys, so you will succeed. And so, for starters, we determine which of the edges doesn't match on one side. This one, it's located behind, and the eye is from the right side, so we begin to solve it with the right hand. First we do an ordinary algorithm, and then holding the upper edge, we twist it like this. Done. Then we raise the left, done, then return the top, done, and lower the left. So here is the movement we have. 
Be sure to memorize this algorithm according to the scheme. It will be way more understandable for you. But uh, there is still another situation that is very similar but different. Here again, one of the edges doesn't match and the other two match only on one side. But if uh, we put an unmatching edge on the back, we will have an eye on the left side. There's nothing complicated here. We just need to do exactly the same algorithm but in a mirror image, starting with the left hand. And in this case, we start with the left hand algorithm logically. We lower the left, lower the right, raise the left, raise the right. And then move the left hand to the top and twist the top here. Then raise the right, the top back and lower the right hand. Let's repeat the mirror case once more. The wrong edge is behind and the eye looks at us from the left side. We make the left hand algorithm. This video is sponsored by the cubicle.com store. And then grab the top and twist it here. Then raise the left one, return the top one, return it. Memorize all these situations at first clearly, looking at these diagrams. After that you can already work with the, the pyramids, making algorithms, it will be much easier for you. Watch me. It's not hard for me. You can learn to spin the pyramids even faster. All in all, this method is very simple. And if you suddenly still do not understand something, be sure to recheck these moments. I'm sure that if you try a little harder, then sooner or later you will succeed. Thank you all for watching. Looking forward to your likes and comments about the training. As you can see, I restored the training rubric on my channel. We will be learning how to solve various puzzles, so see you soon, guys. Don't forget about the bell and remember that I don't forget about you. Many thanks to everyone for watching again. This was Cubastic. Bye everyone and have a good time.